Hey y'all, what's going on? Happy Friday. Here it's sunny. The wind has died down. It's like 50 degrees. Got my COVID vaccine today. So if you don't get another video from me, it's because I turned into a zombie. Um, but here we are. Had a little trouble with the uh, putting on the lifeboats on the starboard side. Um, I'm trying to explain how that happened. Um, there are little notches in the lifeboats that are supposed to line up, and that's where the, they sit in the davits. I put the davits in first, though. So, and then two of the davits came off, and I put one um, lifeboat in there, and she just didn't sit right. So one of them is, like, rocked out. Um, but that's where we are. I mean, again, no, this wasn't going to be a showpiece. It wasn't going to go in a museum, but it definitely tells you it's the... Uh, QE2 and it goes to my collection and she'll look good with her sisters so I know what it is I only saw in all my research one time where I saw that opening right there on the deck that goes to the lower deck and that was an ad a travel ad you know for the QE2 um, everything else they I must have um, did, done a wreath it and put something up there, almost kind of like on the Titanic, like, uh, oh, what do you call it? Um, the officer's quarters. But I don't know what it was for. Like I said, I don't know this ship all that well. I wish I did. I've learned a lot about her. But um, where we go from here is probably, a part of me wants to go back and do a 700 real quick because um, I want to try a fly hawk kick. I've never tried one. I've tried fly hawks aftermarket, which is more than extensive however you know zero instructions but i'd like to try one of their kits so i'm kind of kicking around doing a dreadnought pre-world war one but then i'm also thinking well we're, we're on roll why not think, go ahead and use what you learned here to go ahead and do the ss france um i haven't really looked through the kit of the france but it looks to be complete i mean i know it's complete and I also have the Moritana. Well, heck, while we're here, let's just take a look. Don't get sick. Oh, I'm lying to you. Where'd you go? Bear with me. <laughs> I'm reaching through. <laughs> I got this Musashi. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, I need to give it to eight year old. Um, so the prints. So shall we talk about this a second? <sighs> Let me get comfy here. There you go. So this kit is on eBay. Anywhere from $25, free shipping, to full about $300. And it's funny, somebody had the tag on here, so it went from $16 down to 2 And they still couldn't sell it. So I don't, I think there's a perception out there that this is a rare kit. It really isn't. I can find them everywhere. And like I said, I can find them from 25 bucks. I can find them for 250. I don't know why. But um, I have talked to Airfix about both these models. And what's funny is, obviously, since they're 40 year old kits, they don't have the decals floating around anymore. But this one is so, so easily and readily available. I haven't really checked on her. It's a good thought. That if I have to, I can just buy another one for 20 bucks. And see if that if the, those decals are any better. But should, you want to take a look? I hate, hate, let me say it one more time. Hate when people do, let's do a inbox review and what's in the box. Well, I'm guessing, just a while I guess here, going out on a limb, the kit is in the box. I, you know, and I just, yeah. So, yeah, the typical Airfix, um, are those instructions? Can you guys understand that? I'm glad you can. But I know the ship, so I'm not worried about it. I'm telling you now, I'm not doing the green AstroTurf all over it. No, no, no. I'm not going to do her as the Norway, the poor girl. I'd rather see her scrapped than to see her in the Norway colors. Um, so, oh, look at the detail on this. Yeah, it's the, uh, the hull. Am I going to drill every one of those portholes out? No, 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 no. But, you know, she was a thousand feet long. 
give you an indication. But that's back, you know, she was built back when she was the last of a liner representing her country. Um, you know, QEE was, you know, a hybrid. She was a liner slash cruise ship. Well, they don't look horrid. Can you see those? They're not yellow. I'll give you that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we can do that. I have tons of these. I saved them. I've never done a ship yet with all their streamers. Um, yeah, it looks very reminiscent of a kit I just did. Anyway, it'll be fun. Yes, 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 yes. So how did you like my kit review? Was it detailed and thorough and did you learn a lot? I'm glad. Um, bum, 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 bum. We're putting stuff away. So let's focus on what we were talking about. There she is. She's a beauty. I like it. Um, I felt like a 12 year old building it though, you know. Let's have to put extra glue here and I gotta, oh my god, I've gotta put rubber bands and I've gotta use paper clips and everything else. Um, so yeah. But one, one I was kind of kicking around was this guy. Uh, and for my German friends who like to correct me, <laughs> I'm expecting it, um, but it's the S Master Flinger, 1916, so pre-war. Um, what a great name for battle wagon, Der Flinger. As a, I'm going to take um, this shell and Der Flinger, 15 miles at that other ship. Um, anyway, but I, I've heard a lot about Flyhawk kits in the detail. I saw a close picture of the Scharnhorst. And, uh, and I've done the Sharn Horse that once, twice. In fact, is that just Sharn Horse up there? Uh, anyway. But, first of all, they're a great value. And I'm not pitching them. I've just never built one. But this was not an aftermarket part. It came with a kit. This was not an aftermarket part because uh, it's the decals. came with a kit. Ah, pre-cut, pre-measured railings not aftermarket came with kit brass barrels and a photo etch for the plane the spotter plane don't think she had one but okay detailed detailed pages worth of detailed instructions and then obviously the parts so there was another detailed um kit review by scott Oh my gosh, that's so informative. You should do more of these. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what's going on. So next one is the port um, lifeboats. I think I can get those done relatively easy. I've been kind of, I don't know about you guys and how you go about, you know, selecting your next model. Um, for me, it's whichever one jets out the furthest, usually. Um, but I, I really... I know this sounds weird, but do a one to seven hundred to take a break, <laughs> or yeah, since we're in the since we're in the mood for doing ocean liners, you know, go ahead and do the uh, SS Friends. So, and I told you guys this before. This one is going up in my bedroom. I have two shelves. The third shelf waiting, where I can put the three sisters together: the Mary, the Elizabeth, and the QE two. It'd be great if somebody built all the others, the Queen Anne, the Queen Victoria, um, the new Q Q QM2, all in the same scale. Not going to happen. I wish it would. That'd be cool. Um, why? Because I'm a dork. Um, but I'm thinking I could probably, if I do the, SM or the SS France, then I'm going to have to go find a fourth shelf. And then my beautiful, lovely wife, who is actually hangs used to hang, uh, hang wall hangings and frames and draperies for a living um gets to hang a fourth or a fifth it would, would that be yeah a fourth um what am i trying to say a fourth shelf which means knowing her she'd have to readjust the two that are up to make all four look correct on the wall and i i don't want to really do that to her um me thinks I'm gonna. It's kind of like if I do it, I get a whipping. I do it anyway. 
but this is where we are. So we do have a lovely representation of the QE2. Um, I did it more on her Dubai colors. Now, I haven't seen the recent photo of her in Dubai, but the ones I have, are obviously all the lifeboats are gone. And it almost looks like they've expanded that little bit to create more room. Um, as literally rooms, you know, push the, uh, the upper superstructure out towards the sides. I'm not sure about that. Um, and, uh, but, you know, and it doesn't have the two little radar balls up there on the top. So this is, I guess, in her original format, taken back to her original form as she sits in Dubai. Make sense? Glad with you came with me on that one. So anyway, I hope you guys stay safe, stay well. I hope you guys, if you are pro-vaccine, go ahead and get it. We'll see if I turn into a zombie. I'll let you know. Maybe that'll settle your nerves a little bit. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon.